In the comments of my last video, I had a request how in PixInsight you can add a signature, a name of a star, an annotation. And given I had nothing else to do, I thought, why not do that video? Obviously, I could also have told you something about my new mount, but let's put that for later. And by the way, while I might pick up a topic that you propose in the comments below, the best way to actually make me do the videos that you want is to join my Patreon channel. Link is in the section below. And also, if you join my Patreon page, you will know already a lot more about my new mount. Anyway, let's get going. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. Let's hop right in Pixie Inside and let's see how we can annotate a picture. Okay, and welcome to Pix Inside and welcome to my horsey hat. We will use this picture. This is a finished picture in XISF. So we actually want to look now when the picture is completed, what can we do then still with Pix Inside? And there's for me two different groups. One is the plate solving things where actually we add data to the picture and the other is where we mess around with it ourselves. So let's start with the plate solving because that's really where the strength of PixInsight is. And if you want to let PixInsight to annotate stars and constellations and so on, obviously PixInsight has to know where it is. So we have to plate solve if we have not done it before and if in the process, for example, because of cropping and whatever, we've lost the solution, which is more than likely. So the first thing we do is we go to script, image analysis, and image solver. And we know that at least the ones who do not always stack with WPPP, we know that already how to do it. So we have to choose the object. I use here Alnitak. We have to tell when this picture was taken. We have to tell either the resolution or the focal distance. This was done with my FRA 400, so 400 millimeters and the pixel size of the camera, and then we hit OK. So now that we have actually done that, we can really start. So the first thing we want to do is simply the plate solving like we see it in Astrobin. And they actually even refer to that it's done with Pink's Insight. So you find that in script, render, and then annotate image. The script here is quite powerful. You have a lot of different object classes from the regular grid to the constellation borders, constellation lines, named stars, the messy objects, NGC, and so on and so on. Also, we have your planets and even asteroids. And for each of these objects, I can select it, like here, for example, the constellation lines, and I see that they would be in red. And I can say, no, 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 I want to have them in white, for example. And you can also select or deselect the markers and the labels. Also be careful here, if the picture is already stretched as this one, you have to deselect here, apply STF before annotation. Something really cool is that you can either say you want to have the fully annotated picture, or you can simply ask it to generate a transparent overlay so that you then, for example, in a video effect, can take it off and on again. You also state down here the time of the observation. And if that all done and you have selected what you want, you click OK. And here we go. So now we know actually everything we want to know what's inside a picture. But what if we want to know where this picture actually is in our huge universe? And you find it in processes and finding chart. Also here on the contents, you can select what you want to have within the picture, what you don't want to have. You can also select the colors for everything. So you have about the same functionality as you have with the annotation. I would generally stay away here from generate bitmap file that creates much the worse picture than when you get here and you can save here in whatever format you want. You can change up here the chart size, the chart resolution, but if you leave everything with default, let's just let it run now. Okay, here we go. And that is how it looks like. So you see here the red frame 
that's where our picture actually is taken and you see everything around it. This might also look familiar to you and if it looks familiar it's also from Astrobin because also there this is available. So much about annotation based on plate solving. But what if we want to mess around ourselves? And for example, simply tell that this here is the horse head. Well, we can do that. For that, we find in processes, painting, annotation, a process who can do that. So you enter here the text, horse head. You can say show leader. You can give a font, color, and then you can actually click in the picture. Now you get the horse head and you get a line which is almost not visible unless you zoom in. If we zoom in now, you see now this line, you cannot make it thicker. One of the beauties of PixInsight. <laughs> so you can go here, you can point right to the horsey head. You can also move the horsey head if you want. Good, let's zoom out again, looks nice. Then you click execute and here we go. Now, finally, we know where the horse head is. Now, last but not least, the question was also, how can I add a signature right through PixInsight? Now, as we all know, PixInsight is really designed for tasks like that, and you can do it really, really beautiful with PixInsight. I'm obviously kidding. Anyway, I will show you what's possible. The first thing you find in script, render, and then draw signature. So I can give it here my name, I give it a font, text color, and then I say, okay, and here it is. Doesn't it look absolutely magnificent? So no, thank you. Now, what if you have like me a signature and you wanna add that? Now you can do that, but it does not work with transparent picture, which you would usually use in such situations. So I have here a JPEG, white background, and you also have to have it in the right resolution. PixInsight will not scale it down for you. Once you have that, you can go to script, utilities, and image insert. I say the main picture is obviously this here. Then the signature picture is this here. I say I want to have it at the bottom right. I can give them a border color and that's about it. I say OK and it adds it here, which obviously looks horrific. Now I could do it black with a white text, which would look better, but still we usually want to have it transparent that only the text appears and PixInsight cannot do that. So bottom line here is just don't do it in PixInsight. Annotation. Why not? There's also probably, if you have another image editing program, or if you use even PowerPoint for that, it might actually look better, but, but it's okay. But when it comes to signature, especially if you have something nice, use a dedicated software for that, or if you have Photoshop or Pixelmator Pro or anything like that, that will work much, much better. Now, what I actually use is an iOS software called iWatermark Plus. And that's, I have it on my iPhone because I usually need these signatures for Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. So you just throw the pictures in there. You already have different signatures with different colors, whatever you want saved. And you just state which signature you want to add and it automatically outputs it with the right signature on it. So that's very convenient. Okay, short and sweet, that was it already. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, I hope you subscribe and I see you next time again. And as always, clear skies. we